<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. You all may call me Pharaoh, and welcome back to Let's Play Amori. Last time we left off, we continue with the actual story. It seemed like Basil was scared, and ah, uh, we wake up back here in the real world. And uh, we're helping uh, Kel with some errands he had to run. And then I, I really, really jacked up that pizza job because I apparently can't read. But anyway, uh, there's that. And now we're going to pick up whatever he needed from here. Hello, welcome to Gino's Pizza. What can I get for you? Hey, uh, I'm here to pick up an order. I see. Uh, what would you like? Oh, I know. Would you like pizza? Nom nom. I think... I think my mom phoned an order for a hero sandwich this morning. I'm just here to pick it up. Oh, I see. Your family keeps ordering sandwiches instead of pizza. But it's on the menu, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, you're right. I guess so. Okay, I'll go get it. And I feel like that happens quite frequently where... There's some restaurants, they may be known for something, but there's a whole entirely different item that tastes great. Case in point, it's not really the case anymore now, because I think they changed the recipe or they did something different, but we ha I have like a hoagie or su uh, sub place by my place, and funny enough, they actually had like a really good cheeseburger, like amazing. Like, I, I like any time I would go there, I would never get a... Well, sometimes I get a sub. But, like, majority of the time I get a cheeseburger. And then I never... I haven't had it in, like, five or ten years afterwards. Then I go back for the hell of it and I get a cheeseburger. It, it ew, just does not taste great. It tastes like something you can buy, you know, frozen from, like, a grocery store. But, yeah, well, sometimes that works out. You know, I don't know if I ever told you this, but that's why my brother's nickname is Hero. You think it's because of some really cool reason, like he saved a puppy when he was a kid or something? But no, he just really likes sandwiches. So wait, wait, Hero is not his real name, or is it, I guess it's a nickname, or is that is that? I mean, that's what I'm kind of picking up here. Okay, here's your hero sandwich. Please enjoy. Ah, we got his pizza order. Cool, thanks. All right, we're good to go now, Sonny. I'm ready whenever you are. Can I just talk to them? Wow, no, she's just straight up ignoring them. Ugh. Ugh, my tongue. Hello. Man, he's just busy eating pizza. <laughs> just got, got thrown that one word in there. I'm scared to keep continuing. There we go. Whoa, Sonny and Kel, what are you doing here? Don't you know it's rude to bother people while they're eating? Ew, it's a nerd. Uh, leave us alone. We got no business with you today. Okay, at least they're... I would say amicable, but still. I'm Rai. I take pride in being a musical connoisseur of sorts. Oh yeah, that's right. We have any CDs, we can play them here. I kind of don't care to do so, but whatever. Who are you, though? Uh, dang it. I'm trying to fix this old arcade machine, but I'm missing a rare and important piece. It looks like it was just bitten off right here. I wonder where it could be. I is that a quest? Bitten off? Like, by a dog? I don't think Luke Lucas took anything. Whatever. My older daughter is coming home tonight from college. I'm sure she'll have lots of tips about what's hip and cool these days. Oh, I can't wait to catch up with her. Oh, that's sweet. Oh my gosh, my crush is sitting right there. What do I do? What do I do? Breathe, be a uh, BB. You gotta be cool. My wife keeps telling me that I'm getting chubbier and chubbier, but I just can't help myself when we live so close to Gino's Pizza. I really shouldn't get anything, though. Last night, my wife smelled pepperoni in my breath and got really mad. And it, well, listen, I, 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 one thing I would say, like, okay, you know, let the man. You know, it's his life, do what he wants. At the same time, she is just looking out for you. You're eating a whole pizza by yourself. You, you In one sitting, by the way. Yeah, I can maybe understand if, like, somebody eats a whole pizza by themselves over, like, three or four days. You know, take a, a slice or two each day. 
Maybe? Still not great for you, but it's better than eating it all at once. Baked goods, check. Sandwiches, check. Well, that's everything, and just in time, too. It looks like the sun's about to set. Let's go back to my house. Hero should be coming home any time now. <gasps> we actually get to meet Hero? <sighs> okay. And we already talked to Mincy, and we played with the cat, or gave him fish. Were these kids running around before? Oh, it's the Tudor kids. This is so much fun. Hop and a hop and a hop and a hop. See, that's that's adorable. That is really adorable. I mean, I understand, you know, especially like if there's a, you know, your child may be gifted or whatever. I can understand that you may want to, um. Like, you may want to focus on, like, on their gifts or whatever. But also let them live their lives. Let them be kids. Let me just double check the cat's not here. All right. Oh, before we go in, I should probably mention that my mom is going to be a little mad about me taking so long the groceries. I was supposed to bring, bring back everything by around noon, but I got carried away doing other stuff, and, well, you know how it goes. But anyway, I thought of a solution for this. So, I think you should walk in first. That way, she'll see you first and get all excited. And most importantly, she'll forget to yell at me. See? It's a win-win for everybody. <laughs> Got it? Okay, let's go. But well, let me first talk to your dog. Oh, heck, his name's Hector. Oh, that, did I, did I, I think they may, may have, uh, they may have mentioned this before. <laughs> Oh, that's adorable. Hi, Hector. Burp, 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 burp. Am I a good boy? You're the goodest boy. Actually, no. Every dog is the goodest boy, including my dog and everyone else's dog. Oh, seems content. That's all I wanted to do. Now I'm happy. It's a little stuffy, but Hector seems to like it. <laughs> all right, let's go inside. Okay, I really want to take a look at that family portrait up there. That looks interesting. Mom, Sonny's here. <laughs> well, it didn't work. What took you so long, Cal? I sent you off hours ago. How long does it take to get a bunch of sandwiches? Oh my, is that Sonny? It must be. Oh, it's so good to see you again. But dear, you look so thin. Have you been eating properly? Here's the stuff you asked for, Mom. Hurry, Sonny, let's go upstairs to my bedroom. She's pushing us along. Now wait just a second, young man. Bye, Mom. See you when dinner is done. No, hold on. I want to see that portrait back there. Hurry, Sonny, let's go back. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. Bunch of books, most of them about fishing or golf. Okay. I'm assuming that's due to their dad. Okay. Let's check out this. This must be the parents' room, I'm assuming. It's locked. Hey, what's this? A bunch of family photos. Cal shows a lot of relatives. Oh, well, it ma makes it look like the shrine, like something bad happened. A great guide to good grilling. Grilling as a way of life. How to perfectly cook chicken. Hmm. Looks like Kel's dad found a new hobby. Hey, listen, grilling is awesome if you can do it correctly. It's full of action figures and toys. There are a few new additions since you were last here. You think you can hold it a bit longer, Sonny? Hold on, I'm scratching my eye. I can't really read right now. Uh, there we go. I want to show you my room first. Okay. You can clearly see a distinction between the two. Well, here it is. Make yourself at home. Look, I got a basketball hoop and a boombox, just like I always wanted. Uh, um, here, I'll play a song for you. Yeah, but it's pretty sweet. Mom won't let me play it too loud, though, because she says it's bad for Sally. Sally? Wait, do you have a... Wait, who's that? Oh, wait! You haven't met Sally yet, huh? 
No, I haven't. Who's Sally? <laughs> Guess what, Sonny? I'm a big brother now! Sally's my baby sister. My mom will probably bring her downstairs around dinner time. She's really small and really cute. <laughs> Cal, there's a girl at the door. She says she's here to see you. A girl? What? Huh? I wonder who that could be. I guess we'll take a look. Okay, this music is actually obnoxious, can't you? There, thank God. Basketball. Now, yeah, is it really smart to have the boombox right underneath the basketball? It's just going to smack into it. Cal's bed. Always a mess. His work desk doesn't look like any work gets done here. His wardrobe. It, there's $20. No. I feel bad if I do so. I mean, I, I have the money. I, I won't do that. His game console system. It looks well used. Of course. His only award. Annual hot dog heating contest. He was only... He didn't even win it. He was just a participant. But, you know, hey, at least he tried. Um... Yeah, a whole second bookcase full of stuff. State Mathematical Olympiad, first place. State Spelling Bee, first place. State Junior Cooking Competition, first place. Annual Hot Dog, I, my God. It's annual Hot Dog heating, comp, uh, eating Contest, first place. So they compete against each other. Okay. State Debate com Competition, most improved. Okay. And I can't, can't read this one? I don't think I can. Hero's work desk. Uh, very tidy, non-eraser shaving in sight. Hero's bed. Perfectly made. Just like Hero. Hmm. For responsible people. It's set to be five minutes early. And holy... I, I just noticed the amount of medals and certificates he has on the wall, too. Damn. Okay. Now, I guess we'll see who's at the door. Wait, who is that? Oh, Polly. Oh. Yeah, uh, the one who's taking care of Basil and her grandmother. Hey, Cal. Hey, Sonny. Sorry for intruding. Um, I was just wondering if you know where Basil is. I thought he might be with you. Basil? Um, we did see him at the park earlier, but that was a while ago. If you see him, can you tell him to come home? I'm really worried about him. Of course, Polly. We'll be on the lookout. Thanks. I knew I can count on you guys. Basil's missing today? I have a bad feeling about this. Especially with Aubrey and the scooter gang around. Maybe we should try to find him before it gets dark. Can we go look for him, Mom? Pretty please? Well, that girl did look awfully worried. Uh, okay, just make sure to be home by dinner. Alright, thank you. Don't want to repeat it last year. Hmm. I guess we can check the park. That's how I, I, I gotta pet the dog for. There you go. For good luck. Oops, there we go. I mean, so he's obviously not home, so yeah, I, I assume it's be somewhere at the park. I'm trying to think if there's anything else we need to do, but, like, we did all our jobs. We, um, we bought the fish and all that. It's not evening time yet, so, like, we don't have to do anything about Mincy or the cat, I guess. I don't think I need to see anyone else. Yeah, they're still playing. Yeah, this is where Basil was at last time. Man, where could Basil be? I don't see him anywhere. Somebody help! Sonny, did you hear that? I think that was Basil. Help me, please! Where is his voice coming from? Hold on a sec. I know this area. Basil's voice is coming from the old hangout spot. Will be around here somewhere. Do you want me to cut it? I don't have my knife on me, do I? I just pushed A and boom, that was it. Mm. And now automatically it's evening. Mm. Man, 
Do, am I ready for... There's probably going to be a fight. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Oh, come on. Why are they bothering him? Help me! Somebody! What the hell? Well, what the heck are you yelling for, Basil? You're making a scene. This place is our secret hangout spot. You can't be here because you weren't invited. Dang it, Basil, be quiet. Someone's gonna find this place. Yeah, we're not trying to hurt you. We just want you to get out of here. Hey, stop it! What are you doing to Basil? What the? Oh my god. It's Kel and Sonny again. Why do you always show up? How did you even find this place? Come on, Aubrey. We gotta defend our turf. Aubrey? Go away, Kel. You're not welcome here. This is our spot. Oh, is this your spot now? Well, this used to be our old hangout spot. Wasn't it, Aubrey? Watch her, we'll mess you up! Fine. If that's how it's gonna be, then at least stop bullying Basil. We weren't even doing anything to him. He just started screaming for no reason. Yeah, sure you weren't. Why should I believe you? We're telling the truth. Stop being such a self-righteous prick. Come on, guys. Let's make sure this is the last time these two mess with us. That sounds good to me. I'm right behind you, the Maverick. That's so dumb. Aubrey, come on. Let's settle this, Cal. If you and Sonny are gonna pick a fight with me and my friends, you got one. Come on, gang. Let's teach him a lesson. Uh, that's six against two. Oh, boy. I, I love the idea that the, the text box is covering is it Charlie's face. And we fought all of them before, but not together, so I'm a little worried. Do I guard? I mean, like, what's... what's... I don't know what to do here. Maybe I'll focus. Uh, encourage. Probably gonna hurt really bad. They threw old candy. Okay, Sonny's attack rose. Alright, let's try. The hooligans! Ow. 20 damage. 15. Okay, this is not good. Um. Let's, uh... A snack. Is it a toy? We'll give that to Kel. And he'll, he'll attack. I was worried about that. Oh, no. Okay, we're good. We're good. I'm going to assume, like, I don't know if we're actually going to defeat them. Because, like, I feel like this is going to be insane. So we're just going to keep attacking, hope for the best here. I don't, I don't think they're going to go for for us at all. They're going to keep going for Cal. That seems to be kind of the, uh, the norm. Oh, his attack fell. That's fantastic. Like, something tells me like this is going to keep happening, and then, lo and behold... Uh, what's his name? Like, Hero's gonna come out of nowhere, maybe. But this is, this is not looking too great. Are we supposed to win this? This seems scripted as all hell. I, mean, I don't want him to go down, but... I don't know.
My master and I have been training for this moment. He won't make, fool of, make fools of us ever again. Kim, are you ready to rumble? Why are you here? Because you guys are being dumb. And... I mean, frankly, I do kind of believe them about Basil. We saw how he was acting previously, but... You know, oh no. He blacked out. So now what? Are, are they going to attack me, though? Let's see. Yep. Crap, I didn't save. Uh, well. I'm just going to go for it. <laughs> is, is this real life? We won, Master! We won! Serves you right, nerds. Kim, yeah, I'm hungry. Let's go get some food. Get the heck out of here. I wonder if I could have won that. I, I don't know. Whoa, we really did it. The evil foes have been defeated. Dang. Sorry, Sonny. Why did I think we could take on six people at once? Even if they're a bunch of dweebs. It's over, Kel. Leave this place. You don't belong here anymore. No. I won't! I can't just leave here knowing that this is the person you're, you've become. I mean, what would Mari think? Why do you keep bringing her up? Do I have to keep saying it? She's already dead. Can you stop with that? And while you're at it, drop the tough guy act too. I don't believe you when you say you don't care about us anymore. You have all your new friends now, but you're still hanging out at our old hangout spot. Do I really have to spell it out for you? Oh, don't listen to him, Aubrey. He's just spr uh, spouting crap like usual. Right, Aubrey? Oh. Ugh, this isn't fun anymore. I want to go home. Let's get out of here. You said it. You coming, Aubrey? Oh, okay. Catch you later, then. She is about to blow. Aubrey? <sighs> Ugh. Why? Why do you guys keep coming back? I just want you to leave me alone. Sonny? Why? Why did you show up now? We just want you to stop messing with Basil. What's your deal with him all of a sudden? You used to be friends. We all used to be. I'm getting a little worried because uh, he's getting close to the pier there, or the dock, and there's water. You think I'm the bully, but you're all messed up too. Where were you when Mari died? Where were any of you? Yep, it's gonna happen. And you. You're the worst, Basil. How dare dare you still show your face to me after what you did? What the the basil do? Holy crap. Aubrey, I... Get away from me! Yep. Shoot. What the heck, Aubrey? What are you doing? You've taken this way too far. Wait, hold on. I, I didn't mean to... Sonny, don't worry about Aubrey. I'll keep her busy. Just go help Basil. Okay, uh, how? How? Oh, well, I'm gonna have to face my fears. I don't know what's going on. Ugh. Now 
We're underwater. Crap. Does that mean we're going to go back to the headspace or whatever? I was hoping I can still look around. I was wondering, maybe maybe I should have gone back to the uh, back to the park. Like, when I went to go north to the hangout spot. Because that's when it switched over to, like, you know, afternoon or evening. But I, I don't know. I really hope we can still do whatever. There's Mari. We can't go back and then Mari just... She walks when we walk, so... It's kind of like a fruitless endeavor. We can't catch up. But I'm gonna keep going. Now see, the music is... Oddly soothing. Oh, wait. Mari? It's like she gets a little closer. I, I don't know. I'm getting a little blah about this. Ugh. But why does music got to be so soothing? That kind of freaks me out a little bit. No! Why is there a knife? And I can't go left or right. I can't go back. Great. I picked up the knife. That's fantastic. Oh, that's not cool. Something drags you down. We gotta, we gotta calm down. We got this. We got this. I guess we attack something. Who listens to our struggle? Steady your heartbeat. Don't be afraid. It's not as scary as you think. So that's a something listens to, to Sunny's struggle or whatever. You have to keep going. Don't give up. No matter how impo impossible it seems. You reach out to the voice and remember how to persist. Is that a new skill? Hmm. Heart cannot reach zero for one turn. Sunny persists. Seems a lot better now. Can I attack now? Eight damage is okay. Still did nothing, but we can hold on. Okay, maybe, maybe I just gotta keep persisting. Maybe that's all I gotta do. No, I don't wanna fight or run. Persist. We got this. And notice, like, with each one, like, with, um... Regarding the skills, like he keeps his eyes closed as he calms down. He opens it slightly more when he persists. I'm assuming like we're gonna get another skill finally where he kind of like he breathes in and he opens his eyes or something. I don't know. Or maybe I'm looking at that wrong. Maybe he opens his eyes before too. I don't know. That was actually kind of a cool image, but that was going on. Or is it Hero? It looks like Hero. That is a smile on him. That looks like a like a oh never mind. I didn't see the teeth there. I was like, that looks like a very smiley face smiley got going on. It 
It's the gang. Hmm. It looks like Basil's breathing is steady. But we need to get him somewhere warm and quickly. Yeah. Oh, he's yeah. He's had a rough day. Let's get him as let's get him home as soon as possible. Wait! Where do you think you're all going? That's enough! Don't you think you caused enough trouble today? Come on guys, we gotta go. No, I still want Hmm. I want to check out this area. I, I don't want to leave Aubrey behind. I don't think she really... She really didn't mean that. She really didn't. It just doesn't look right. Uh, okay, I guess we'll just go back home. We don't have a choice. What, what am I doing in my life? Sometimes it's, it is better just to walk, but still. All right, so we got to keep an eye out for Mincy and the orange cat around here somewhere. So I'll see, like, this. Is that... Who is that? Is that Mari... Or is that Aubrey and myself? Is, is that what I've been seeing all this time? I, maybe I'm just not catching it. I don't know. I don't know if the game's gonna let us really look around. Let's see. Yeah. We just gotta take him back home, which I th think he lives down here to the right. Yep. Basil! What happened? Is he okay? His breathing is stable. He just needs a change of clothes and a warm bed. Okay, I can do that. Quick, come inside. Can you help me bring him to his room? Sure thing. Phew, that was intense. I hope Basil wakes up soon. Should we... Go check on them. Well, that's her grandmother, which yeah. Uh, this is where he was freaking out like crazy in the bathroom. Why is Kel not showing up behind there? That's why I want to know. Oops. Hey, Kel. Hey, Sonny. It looks like Basil's gonna be just fine. I heard from Mom that Basil's missing and that you two were looking for him. When I was running around the park, I heard some commotion coming from the hangout spot. I guess I got there right in the nick of time. So, what was happening back there? Aubrey, she pushed Basil into the lake. What? That was Aubrey back there? No way. She wouldn't do that to Basil. I'm sure there was some kind of misunderstanding. She's not the same anymore, Hero. She's become all messed up after you left her college. Uh, Aubrey. What happened while I was gone? Maybe I should have never left. It's not your fault this happened. Things could have gotten a lot worse if you didn't show up. You've done all you can. Come on, let's go home. Okay, well, at least he's relaxing. Oh, Sonny, there's no way out of this, is there? I'll well, see, why are you saying that? Come on. Poor Basil's been through so much these past few days. Basil, you must be tired. Please get some rest. We'll come back for you tomorrow. And I want to know about that toy box. Did anybody have a toy box? Did we have a toy box? I, I really can't recall. You 
know, Sonny. You were pretty awesome back there. Jumping in the lake to save Basil like that? Even if Hero ended up saving the day, I think you deserve some recognition too. How about a high five? Sure. That was a big ass slap. Okay, thank you. I wonder what happens. What would have happened if I said no? See, now everybody's door seems open. It's my son's 10th birthday today. But he won't even leave his room so we, we can celebrate. Oh, yeah, I even bought him a cake. Oh, come on. Where, where is his kid at? Don't be like that. Come on. Poke. Gah! Who are you? What do you want? Oh, uh, hey, uh, Jesse, was it? We're, uh, we're friends of your dad. He asked us to call you down to the living room for cake. Dad is friends with a bunch of teenagers? That's weird. What's with the sour face? Isn't it your birthday today? Why don't you come down to celebrate? Your dad even got you a cool present. Uh, I told dad not to do anything for me. Just tell him to return everything get out of my room. Hey, I don't think I like your attitude. What do you have against your dad? You see all this cool stuff I have here? I... I got all this stuff from Mom. Mom doesn't live here anymore, but she sends me stuff like this all the time. But Dad... He isn't up to date with all the trends. Whatever whatever he gets won't be as good as what I, what I already have. So, whatever he gets is just a waste of his money. So even if it's my birthday, he doesn't need to get me any... He doesn't need to get anything for me. But... He's doing all this for you because he wants to. You should, you should go down and celebrate. It'll mean more to him than more than you know. But... I... Just go! Hey, what are you doing? You're being like this because you care about him, right? He's doing all this because he cares about you, too. If you're gonna be leaving him hanging, then he at least deserves an explanation. Now go to the living room and talk to him. I won't, I won't let you sit in this chair until you do. Huh. You're so pushy. But... I guess I'll go see Dad. Wow, Kel. That was really mature of you. You think so? Yeah. I can tell you've really grown up. I guess this means you're not a kid anymore. Oh, why not? That's all no fun. Kids have it way better. <laughs> Never mind. Forget I said anything. Oh. <sighs> a brand new game console looks so shiny and sleek. So here's the thing, like, his mom sends him all this stuff, but he's living here with his dad. What, what does that have to say, you know? And I don't know, like, I, I get it, like, when you're younger, people lash out at their parents, I get it. I guess, like, it just gets to me, because, you know, obviously, I, I miss my dad every single day. Um, I don't want I don't want people to have regrets with their parents, you know? Not spending enough time with them, not helping them, not, I mean, lashing out. I mean, it's it's rough, you know. Happy birthday, son! I know we don't have much, but I went and got you something I thought you'd like. Here you go. It's some new game called Super Ultra Sprout Mole Eater Revenge of the Moles 3. Oh, yeah, we were... Okay, I remember the guy now. We were helping him at the at Hobbies. Dad, you didn't have to. I don't really understand all these new gizmos, but I thought you might like it. Dad, I... I don't have the right game console for this. Oh, game console? Oh, sorry, I don't understand. Dad, I... Son, I know things can have been hard without your mother, 
But I want you I want you to know that I'm here for you too. Dad, stop worrying about me. I'm doing fine. Just worry about yourself. Jesse, you you can't ask me to do that. You're my son after all. I can't help but but worry about you. Even if I can't get you things as nice as your mother, you can't blame me for trying, right? Every time I see you, I just think about how fast you're growing up. One day when you're older, you're probably not going to need me at all anymore. So just let me be a part of your life for now, okay? Now, I know it's your birthday, but I also know that you like to keep to yourself these days. So why don't you take this slice of cake and eat it in your room? It's strawberry, your favorite. It's... it's okay, Dad. I don't mind eating it here. Oh, are you sure? You usually take your food to your room. Uh, Dad, I... I'm sorry. What is it, son? Are you okay? Did I do something wrong? No, I'm fine. Thanks for the gift, Dad. I... I really like it. Try not to cry myself here, damn it. Uh, thanks for convincing my son to come downstairs. You're, you're all real pals. Please, have some cake with us. Uh, I got it off the bargain bin since it expires tomorrow. But it's still pretty tasty. Yay, slice of cake. Well, that's all cleared up nicely. What about you? I had my son go to the fixer to buy a new lamp for my living room, but he's taking a sweet time. Bah, he's always so slow with these things. I wish someone would tell him to hurry up. I don't have all day. I could go there. I think I know who your son is. I saw him there earlier, but all right. This is the painter, right? Have you done any more painting? Lucas, don't worry me like that. Bark, 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 bark. Let's up. I got more trash. Okay. So I guess she hasn't finished her paintings. I guess that's it for today with her. Let's also keep an eye out for uh, Mincy and that big cat. I'm, like, going up to the doors a little bit, just to make sure they're not in the houses. Um, let's check over here. So this is Aubrey's place. I keep... This is Aubrey's place, right? I think it is. I, saw, I thought I saw her going here. I don't know if anybody's going to answer, but... Okay. Still nothing? Jeez. And I guess since we're in the area... Oh, hey! Hey, it's you guys again! You here for moral support or what? Yeah, I really appreciate it. Come on in! I'm almost done fixing this dang leak! Oh, this is... This should be fantastic. That's almost fixing it? Is that a drill? What are you doing with a drill? Ah! Good riddance! Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. Okay, first off, why did you not shut off the water? Eh, yeah, whatever. Arg. Okay, well now you got something more to fix. Hey, wait a minute, that kind of slowed down the, the leak a little bit, but still. Um, I mean, I would help you with it, but I don't know. You look into the man-shaped hole and find a seashell. Hey! Cool. Um, holy crap, just how far did this guy go in? Uh, are you in the bathroom or to live in the other room? Welcome to the man-shaped hole. So you're just in the hole at this point. You're not like any. You're not in any actual room. You're just. 
All right, well, uh, we'll leave him alone with his uh, Looney Tunes-esque, you know, man-shaped hole. All right, perfect outline, everything. But I was gonna say, since we're like in the area, let's go visit Mari with Hero. Are they gonna say the same thing? Like they, they something's off. I, I don't like him saying that. Oh, look at his face. Sorry. Uh, I don't know if I'm ready for this yet. Okay. All right. We're, we're definitely not going to push it, buddy. And I, I get it. I get it. Oh, man. All right. Well, we check both of these sides. Let's check up here to the right. Let's see how I get my money with the tutoring I got, or I did. I hope I did everything correctly. Oh wait, am I not gonna? Am I not gonna get my money? Or do I get my money the next day? No, oh, these these door these doors opened. We'll just leave you to snip or you know snip away. Oh, I forgot. I forgot that this was their house. He just mentioned uh, he's munching away. Oh, hey, what's up? Huh? You're so calm. Aren't you going to challenge us to a fight or something? Nah, no, nah, I don't really have beef with any of you. Me and Kim just always do the same stuff together. I'm only one year older than her, but no one believes me because of my beard. She's a lot of talk, but she's got a big heart. And me? Uh, I got some big muscles. Okay. Hungry. Don't you tell me what's wrong? Ah! It's just you two. What makes you think you can barge into people's rooms like this? You must have made friends with my mom, right? She listens to anyone who listens to her talk. Why does it look like she just turned her head only? That was a little creepy. I, yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna leave that one alone. Uh, well, I guess that's that. Let's check out. I don't even know what I'm doing with today's remainder of this episode, I guess. I'm just going to check things around here, and that's that. And I'm, I'm just going to assume, like, I I won't get paid for my tutoring today. But will there be tutoring tomorrow? I mean, there's still going to be... We're two days left. I mean, I'm assuming there's going to be one day left, and I can still do things, right? lady I was helping with her medicine talking about her oldest son still living here and her youngest daughter okay I guess that's that and yeah I don't know about you guys I, I didn't see I didn't see the cat around here right I'm kind of hoping because I don't want to go to my street yet, because I'm afraid it's going to trigger whatever. So, we'll save that for last, but maybe they're... Oh, wait, 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 who was that? Oh, that's a random cat. I, mean, I want to talk to a random cat. Okay. So maybe they're at the park, or maybe they're at the plaza. Uh, life's been kind of stressful lately. People watching, I'm going to we talk to you. Yeah, I just don't want to play that stupid game of yours, the, uh, uh Clash, or whatever. So I see this stuff toy, like, I hope it's not gonna be hidden in something, like the bushes or that large cab, but I guess not. Basketball hoop, recycle guys. Do I have any, I think I have one thing of trash here, from Lucas, anyway. There's a dollar. Uh... Regular cat. Can I go back to the... Yeah, I can. Okay. Is Aubrey still here? Doesn't seem like it. But apparently this was our old hangout spot. A blue picking bag, so nothing like Mari's. Okay. I thought maybe it was still Mari's and we just never removed it. And considering... This orchid is still here, too. Whatever. Well, 
What's that? What's sparkling up there? Oh, it's a seashell. Okay. Nice. I think we have, like, what, two now? I forgot how many we're supposed to get or find, but whatever. Got a hard puzzle here. It's all blank, right? It just says puzzle pieces. Whatever. Bunch of pinwheels. Which kind of makes me understand now we have that pinwheel forest and headspace, whatever it's called. Damn, I was hoping we would find something here, but I guess not. Okay. Let's go back to the plaza, I guess? Where the hell are you? I'm meeting with someone, but they're late. Don't tell me I've been st stood up. Oh, that sucks. You can see coins at the bottom. But we're not gonna take it, because we ain't like that. I don't see the cat around here. Wait, is that him? That was actually a good hiding spot. Okay. And he hops away. Left me a gift. An arcade piece? Now, wait a minute. Isn't it, wasn't the... Who, whose thing wasn't working? It was Jesse's, right? Maybe. I don't know. I, mm. I'll take a look into that. Well, let's look for Mincy now. She's by one of these stores. Well, she ain't here, but let's talk to her. Ah, uh, you're saying the same thing we saw earlier. Okay. Alright. I guess we take a look at Geno's. Who are you? Today's the wedding anniversary for my husband and me, but he hasn't mentioned it all day. I wonder if he'd, got, if he'd forgotten. That'd be terrible if he did. I need this nice soft drink. I've been working on my next big project. I need something to keep me alert. Okay. Or maybe I gotta help him. Uh, dang it. I'm trying to fix this old arcade machine. I'm missing a rare important piece. Okay, so it's not for Jesse. It's for him. Hey! It's the missing arcade piece I've been looking for. Could I maybe take it off your hands? You gave the... Okay, good, good for him. All right, cool. Now, let's see here. There you go. Good as new. Here, take the CDs. Thanks. I bought it at Hobbies last week. But I forgot I already uh, had a copy at home. Devilish CD. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must... Uh, Make sure this game works correctly. Yeah, good for you. I guess since I have a new CD, I guess we'll have Rai do whatever with it. Or no, do I, do I examine that? Yeah, here we go. I want to play... Yep, play the devilish CD. Yeah, I know this song. This is a cover of World's End Valentine by Lumina Tan. Ooh. You know, a couple months ago, I was playing uh, Infernax. Which, by the way, an absolutely awesome game, in my opinion. If you're, if you're looking for, like, hero, like that classic Castlevania, kind of Castlevania 2 esque you know, uh, vibe. You got it. Um, over-the-top violence, too, just, like, how it goes. And they, they just recently made an update to it where you can play it, I think it's local co-op? I'm not sure if it's online co-op, but that's freaking awesome, too. So, but I can definitely see that being in here, or being in that game. Kind of a cool song. All right. Uh, let's see if she's in Other Mart. Where was she initially? She, she wasn't here, right? She was she was at the uh, candy shop. 
Food's not really my thing, but job's a job. I do like chicken nuggets, though. Everybody loves chicken nuggets. Well, depends on a brand. I love green onions. They're delicious and nutritious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cook it with something, it's great. La-dee-da. La-dee-da, whatever. Okay, la-dee-dee, la-dee-da. Hey, you, you enjoy yourself. We got the creepy baker people. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. I could buy things if I want. But see, it just doesn't tell me what they do. Like, donut, bread, pie, slice of cake. Like, I, if I knew what they were, I would buy it more. But I, I don't feel like experimenting. Like, what's what? Even though I bought the pie, or bought the meat from this guy, and I didn't do anything with it. I never cooked for a whole party before. Maybe I was too ambitious this time around. Should I get something that has better quality or something with more quantity? How do I know which brand I should choose? Are green onions and red onions the same thing? Not really. Well, eh. Uh, maybe we should have we should have just gotten delivery. Hey, no need to stress about this, Karen. I believe in you. Besides, if no one else eats your food, I know I will at least. Oh, Sean, you're so sweet. Why did I ever do to deserve... What did I ever do to deserve someone like you? Oh, maybe I talk to him again just one more time. Okay. Oh, he's so cute. All right. Uh, well, she's not in here anymore. Who are you? I almost forgot it was me and my wife's anniversary today. So uh, here I am doing some last-minute damage control. <laughs> oh, boy. She's at the... I think she's at the pizza shop right now, buddy. You might want to, you know, check up there, buddy. Oh, God. Man, she's not here. Uh, hopefully, she's at the other store. Miss Candace told me to buy some painkillers for a headache. Apparently, a lot of kids around here like to steal candy. They must be so brave. Miss Candace is really scary when she's angry. Yeah, no, I can tell. Yeah, I'll take a couple of uh, a couple of these if you don't mind. Uh, how many? I have one on me, right? No, oh, five should five more should be good. There you go. I, mean, I still gotta get paid for my tutoring jobs, so I mean, I'll, I'll have some decent money. Yeah, I think I looked around here properly, so let's take a look at f fix I. Oh, I'm dumb. I was like, I was, wasn't it called Fix It? And then a T fell off because they, they didn't fix it. <laughs> um, okay. I guess I'll talk to Cashier really quick. What do you have here? I keep forgetting. Just flowers, which I was going to put it on, see if I can use it of the grave, but I don't, I don't know if I can. Oh, yeah, wait, I was supposed to come here anyway because of you. Your mom wants you to, like, you know, hurry up. Ugh, I hate decisions. I think I'm, I'm gonna throw up. Eh? Who are you? What do you want? Oh, is my mom asking for me? Tell her to wait! Jesus. I'm the one going all the way to pick up this floor lamp that I don't even care about. Besides, she's so picky. I don't know why she want, She doesn't want to do it herself. Uh, uh, I don't know why she just doesn't do it herself. Urgh, what, what a trashy situation. These floor maps are trash. You're trash. Why am I trapped? I'm just trying to help you, jackass. <laughs> yes, it all makes sense to me now. <gasps> this world, this world's nothing but trash! Oh no, he's becoming an anime villain. Hey you, my mom waits, wants her lamp so bad, why don't you go get it for her? Okay. Uh, 50 bucks. I got better things to do. Uh, well, I don't... It doesn't look like I can buy them. I just got $50. I feel bad that I have the money and I am can't do anything. Okay. Oh, thank God. There's Mincy. I was like, this is the last place I can check. Sometimes I come here to look at the flowers. I'm thinking of getting a few for the house, but I heard that some plants attract ants. Ants are the bane of my existence. Last thing I saw, I want are ants crawling around my house. Yeah, that's definitely not fun. Well, what do you know? 
It's that Mincy drawing away again. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey Mincy, nothing much, just hanging out as usual. I see that you're drawing flowers this time. Yeah, there's so many different types of flowers, so I'm just trying to draw one of each. Amazing work as always, Mincy. You should know that I'm your number one fan. And Sonny's your number two fan. Probably. You can do this, Mincy. We're cheering you on. Yeah, I can do it. Thank you, Kel. Thank you, Sonny. Yeah. Okay, so now I don't need to worry about that anymore. I don't need to worry about... Um... The cat anymore, so I'm good to go. I think. I hope I'm not missing anything else. I did the jobs I could. Oh, crap, that's right. So, what, do I talk to you? Hmm. So, you want to buy a floor lamp? It's going to be $50. You still want it? Yeah. Thanks for business, bud. Oh, I, you just give me one. Oh. I thought I got to pick one out. Okay. Yeah, I was going to feel bad if I had just left here without... Uh, thank God the game told me. Like, hey, uh... That fifty dollars there, buddy, it's not yours. I'm like, okay, the game's the same the same moral compass I got. Although it is kinda of funny, like I, I was recently taking some uh voiceover seminars with uh Joel McDonald, if you guys know him, like uh he's a prominent voice actor from Funimation and Crunchyroll, but then he now he does does more directing. He's been he left Funny how long is he how long did he leave Funimation? Like five, six years ago? And now he's like the the director over at Gearbox, you know, the guys who make, like, Borderlands and all that. Very awesome guy, very awesome information that he gave us, and, uh, he mentioned that he's like, yeah, he's like, you know, you, you gotta make a stance when it comes to your moral high grounds, like, is, is, is a project gonna be right for you, you know, are you gonna be okay with it? And he's like, yeah, for myself, he's like, oh, man, give me a dollar, I'll do whatever. <laughs> but it, it was good advice, you know, like, you don't want to sell... Your, I mean, I know it's a cliche, but like, sell your soul, but you don't want to take a job and then feel nasty about it, I guess, if that makes sense, you know? Gave the floor lamp to Fashionable Mom. Oh my, what a nice floor lamp. Thank you. You have impeccable taste. But where's my son, Billy? Did he go on one of his, his tantrums and run off again? Oh, so it's normal for him. Okay. He's so temperamental. I wish he wouldn't make such a big deal out of everything all the time. Anyway, you're very thoughtful for getting this lamp for me. Please come over anytime. I make a mean cup of coffee. Shoot, I'll take that coffee right now, even though I don't like coffee, for real, but you're offering. It's right in the kitchen. Careful, it's pretty strong. You know, I can handle it. Yeah, I'll make a cup of coffee. I got coffee. You know, open your fridge. What do you got in here? Oysters, pasta, tomatoes, and fancy drinks and glass bottles. And oysters sound disgusting. Pasta, it really, do, really does depend. Lately, I find myself not being such a huge fan of, like, tomato puree, whatever. But, uh... It just, it just depends how things are made. I think I'm writing my crush a letter to tell him how I feel. Didn't we see a letter like this somewhere, too? I can't remember whose house it was. I just came back from college today. I miss the city already. It's just way too quiet here. Now, see, I was I was exactly the same way. You know, like, oh my god, I like I, I want to be in the city. I want to live in the city, whatever. And there's still a part of me that wouldn't mind living in the city. But, man, I feel like it might be too hectic for me now. I, mean, I, I like the quietness of, like... Neighborhoods, suburbs, whatever, but it just depends. What the hell I was watching there? All right, I guess that's that. Um, I don't know if there's really anything else I needed to do around here. No, I think that's it. But I definitely don't want to continue with the... Uh, the story here because you know one I'm already at an hour so I don't want to go overboard and crap you know what I wanted to do and I kind of forgot I'm gonna grab two more pieces of fish so for like tomorrow I'm assuming 
when I, when I find the cat, I don't need to worry about, like, crap, do I have enough fish or not? So, let me go ahead and do that right now. Da -da 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 -da, okay. I want fish, yes. Now I'm down to 100 bucks. Okay. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's probably going to be it for me today. Uh, next episode, um, we're definitely going to go back home, have some dinner with Kel and Hero and his family. Maybe talk about what the hell is happening with Basil and all that and just, like, the stuff that we went through. And uh, we may go back to Headspace. I don't know. Because it seems, it seems like we kind of got over our fear of drowning. And if you guys remember, there was that whole area to the north that we didn't see. But there was that one area in Pyrefly Forest by the Rare Bear. We can check to see what's over there. <laughs> but there's also... And I don't know if I'm going to do this or not, but there's also the... Um, uh, an Orange Oasis. There's that one area all the way to the right. I'm a little worried considering how hard... Well, see, it's Orange Oasis is weird. The enemies out in, like, the overworld, outside of Dino's Dig, absolutely fine. You know, not hard at all. Gives you pretty decent experience. Cool. Dino's Dig? Oh, hell no. They just destroy you. I mean, you'll still be... I mean, if you use juice and, like, you know, items, you'll be okay. But they'll hurt. And, uh... Like, it's like, do I, should I be here? Is it purposely set up like that? So it makes me wonder whatever I may find on the right area. Like, the, I, I don't know. I, do we swim now? I thought we, had, we were going to get, like, a boat, but maybe he can actually swim now. But if we cross that chasm or uh, the water, what's going to be beyond there, you know? I guess time will tell. So... As usual, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time for Let's Play Amori. Love you all so much, and don't forget to spread that love around. Have a great day, everybody.